everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're talking about some of my favorite books that came out in the year 2021 that I didn't get around to talking about in depth, so I'm going to do it today. The first is a book I mentioned but I didn't discuss in depth and it's called The Troubled Girls of Dragomir Academy. It's a fantasy novel but it's not your typical boarding school, magical, fantasy land book. It's got a little bit more depth and it's a little bit darker than that. And it's so, so good. I'd say this one's about fifth or sixth grade plus, and it's amazing. It's set in a fantasy land that is besieged by the dread and only the sorcerers can defeat it. The sorcerers who are all male, and that's an important point. Everyone knows that Maria's older brother Lupa is going to be a sorcerer. Everyone's known it since he was born, and so everyone thinks that Lupa can do no wrong, but Maria knows better. She knows the prankster side of him. They used to be super close, but as time goes on by, the rift has grown. And then on the day that the sorcerers come to test Lupa to join their ranks, well, there's... Maria makes a little mistake, and then suddenly Luca... Well, his future is suddenly up in the air and Maria is getting dragged off to the Dragomir Academy, which is essentially a reform school, but there's something kinky going on, especially with all of these girls coming down with this mysterious mountain madness. So the main theme of the book is who do stories benefit? Basically, why do the stories exist? and who do they help? It's a really timely book. The theme is really timely and it's told really well. And I've been mispronouncing uh, Maria's brother's name. It's Luca, not Lupa. Their last name is Lupo. It's, anyway, it's confusing. Anyway, it's a really good book. You should read it. The characters are all great. The setting's amazing. The plot will grip you and not let you go. And the dread is truly terrifying. So give this one a read, it's great. The other one is much more lighthearted. It's called Trouble in the Stars by Sarah Prinius. And it's set in space. And there's all sorts of different really cool alien species. There are some that are more reptilianoid. There are some that are insectoid and there are humans. Our main character, Trouble, though, he's one of a kind. He's a shapeshifter. And he doesn't really have a lot of memories because he's had to spend a lot of time as basically a giant amoeba-like blob floating through space. And amoebas don't have brains to hold memories. All that Trouble knows is that Trouble is running from something and he needs somewhere safe to go. So he winds up on the human Captain Astra's ship, the Hindsight, which is a really cool name. And while he settles in there in his disguise as a human boy, he starts to try to figure some things out, learn how to be a human, learn how to be a crew member, and the plot just escalates and take off, takes off from there. And again, you see some pretty cool alien planets. It's again, it's a really good plot about overthrowing evil powers and all sorts of things like that. So. This one is also a really fun book. I prob This is probably the most fun book I read all of last year and I cannot recommend it enough. I'd say it's good for ages about nine plus. So give both of these a try. Very different vibes, both of them really good. And I will see you next time. Bye.